So, what's the first step of this Medicaid redetermination process? The first thing you'll receive is a letter in the mail or email about 45 days before your redetermination deadline. You'll also receive a reminder about 15 days before your deadline. So for example, people with the May 31st redetermination deadline will get their first letter on April 16th and a reminder on May 16th. You can also find your redetermination deadline by logging into your account at gateway.ga.gov. The letter simply states that your redetermination window has begun and provides instructions for updating or submitting your documents by your deadline. This may mean you need to upload pay stubs or other materials. You need to complete the steps listed in your letter as soon as possible to help avoid a gap in your coverage. And just a heads up for those who want to get a jump on this whole process, you can't renew early. You must wait until you receive your letter. Only then does your redetermination window open. It'll look something like this. Now it has a lot of information, but it's pretty much everything you'll need to move forward. Exactly. It will have details like your case number and your client ID. Make sure you keep your client ID handy because you're going to need it later. From here, you have several options for completing your redetermination. The fastest way is to visit gateway.ga.gov, or you can mail, fax, or take hard copies of your paperwork to the local division of Family and Children's Services office. You can also call 1-877-423-4746 and complete the process over the phone through the automated system. I'm not sure if I want to call or visit Gateway. What would you do? Honestly, it's up to you. No matter how you want to complete your redetermination application, just make sure to do it by the deadline assigned to your case. Okay, well then I'm going to visit Gateway. Internet for the win, baby!